Hi there, welcome to this free video on Yuhi Zebra. Uh, my name's Mark, some of you may know me as Sound Magus. And um, today I thought I'd just have some fun really and just show you some of the the kind of, the more fun things that you can do with the LFO really. Um, I'm a big fan of sample and hold, but there's no sample and hold as such on Zebra. And by that I mean there's not it's not immediately apparent um, on how to do it. So I thought I would show you how to do that. And maybe some of the other stuff. Now, sample and hold can be used for a whole host of different things, but you hear it, it's kind of used a lot in old sci-fi movies and stuff like that, when it's really old, weird, kind of confused alien voice. Well, I suppose you could do alien voices. That's more ring modulation, but which I'll show you in another video. But um, you'll see what I mean once we get into it. So the most obvious thing to show you is uh, using it to control tune of a oscillator. So we've got a basic oscillator there just with a saw wave on single. And it's really, really simple. All you need to do is come to this wave section here on LFO1. If you're going to use L in fact, we'll just use we'll use LFO2. So if I just click on the the tuning modulation button, go LFO2. And if you just click there, you see we've got a choice. Now, random hold, there you go. For want of a better way of putting it, that is sample and hold. So, I'll just let you hear it. So I'm sure you've all heard that before. You hear all that kind of stuff in like old sci-fi movies, especially if you put like a reverb. I'll just take some of that out of there. And a delay on there as well. Maybe change some of the delay numbers. Um, maybe put that up a wee bit, bring the mix down. So, I think that's good. I've actually used just that in music before, um, in a track, and I think it works great. Um, but remember, you can use LFO2 to control a whole host of different things. So, for instance, if you wanted to try and do something a little bit more interesting. If you go to the oscillator one button down here and come over here and maybe find a different oscillator. Let's see what there is. See if there's something just really weird. There's a gnarly os. What's that? There's nothing in there. I don't know. I've got no idea what it's going to sound like on that. So we'll just try it. So if we go to LFO2, so we've basically got a, a church organ. Put that up. What we got? It's kind of weird, isn't it, really? Now, I wonder if we were to mess around and try and particularly keep the pitch low. So try not to get the LFO to mess around with it too much. Okay, that's kind of low. Could you use that as a bass line? You could if you were crazy. <laughs> it sounds kind of good to me. You could you could really mess around with that. But let's try see if we can find something else a little bit more. Oh, well, it's because I was right. But I like the look of that one because there's lots of different stuff, and that's going to help with what I wanted to show you next. So, what does that one sound? Okay, yeah, we want to put LFO2 in there. We'll take that kick drum off, we don't need that. I just slam it up. Okay, but if we move this to the middle, and then come up here and control the wave tuning with the same one, so LFO2 as well, so using the sample and hold randomness to control the waves, let's see what we get this time. <laughs> That's quite far out. And if we come back to global, just like let's just put loads of delay on it. That's like something out of a horror movie right there. 
So as you can see, you could start to get them um, some real spaced out ideas for sound design and stuff doing this. Listen to that, it's just it's crazy, it's insane. But then of course, it depends what you're looking for really. <laughs> So let me just turn the effects off. So that's just getting some crazy effects there. Now, of course, you can use the sample and hold um, for pretty much anything. I like it for just sheer randomness. What I would normally do is I'd find a sound I like, and then I would now bounce that to audio and chop it up and use that, use little sections of that audio for sound effects and little quirky, weird stuff in um, a track that I was doing, probably. Now, let's just see... What happened? Like we can add a filter. And again, we can control the filter and the resonance with this as well. So this is where we're starting to get really... Things are starting to go a bit mental. Careful, especially with a lot of resonance. So yeah, you can just you can go absolutely crazy with it. Another thing I wanted to show you, let me just kind of tidy this up a little bit, was it's not just a random kind of sample and hold that's there as well. There's another nice little one called um, Random Glide. Now, if you like the kind of acid, acid type sounds that you can create with uh, Glide, so we'll put that onto legato mode and then turn the Glide up. Oh, sorry, that's Glide 2. Turn Glide... So you could then start to use that to create some nice random glides. Let's see what it sounds like on this. In fact, what am I doing? Let's put this one back in. As you can hear, it's more squelchy. If anyone that's watching this is into kind of psychedelic trance, there's a there's a famous squelch sound that's in psy trance that's got that kind of weird, gritty, squelchy, kind of glidey type thing. And this this is one way of doing it randomly. Obviously, you would need to mess around with a... The, the um, amplitude envelope. Let's see, it's kind of weird now. It's just doing it the once. That's because that's a, a one long note, obviously. So it's directly related to the length of the sustain in this instance. But you can mess around with this, make it a little bit more a faster. <laughs> And again, what I would do here is chop it all up, uh, export it to audio, and chop the audio up and use that. And you can control all kinds of things, like for instance, if we were to go to the matrix here, and let's say we wanted to modulate the volume using modulation wheel. Uh no right, the target would be uh, it would be the the volume here. You could do it that way. So that would be voice circuit. Oh no it's not, it was voice mix volume one. Uh modulation wheel should be in there and the modulator can be 
let's just call it, well, LFO2 because we're wanting to use this again. So let's hear what it sounds like when we start to mess with that. Turn that up and now use the modulation wheel. see we're starting to get all kinds of crazy effects so I thought that might have just been an interesting little thing to show you because not a lot of people know about these um, other options in here you've got quite a few so there's like a square wave modulation it's basically on and off really positive and negative whatever way you want to look at it and there are some more Saw down, saw up, triangle, sine wave. And, I almost forgot about this, a user defined. So. Okay, let's just change it to eight steps so we can see it a little bit. So basically, if you just think that's high, you can hear how it's higher in pitch. Only it's it's only higher in pitch because it's controlling the pitch, remember? The tuning. So that'll be low. We've got all kinds of crazy effects going on now, so you could start. Again, this is almost creating your own sample and hold. Really. You could be all random and crazy with it. But again, it depends what it's assigned to, right? The better thing about this, I suppose, is because we've drawn it in like this and it's looping on every eight, it's not really as random. Well, I, in fact, it's not, it, it simply just isn't random. It's a preset, it's a predetermined set of functions that it's following. So, whereas that is truly random, this here is what, what you've written it. So, in this instance, what we could do is you could, this would maybe be better for a bass line or something. Let me just turn this lot off. Let me just add the filter. And maybe make that, oh well it's down at C2. So, okay. so obviously depending on the sound that you're using, you could in fact use it. And obviously, you would spend more time, but you could, and it doesn't have to be bass lines, you can use it for, like, to make really mental leads. That's another feature, you can change it to lines and not just steps, where it, and of course, because we're using glide, it ramps up and down to those sounds. Slides up, glides up, basically. So you can get all kinds of weird effects. And let's just see if we can find some weird sound. Right, so let's say we had, I wanted to use that. User defined, I'll put that to eight. LFO two. So as you can see, you can have a lot of fun with this. You should check them out and just go crazy with them. Just control everything.
Interesting. Anyway, that was just a bit of fun today. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you learned something from it. And please, experiment. Go crazy with it. Thanks for watching. Bye.